Order! Order! You are an incorrigible delinquent at times. <laughs> Behave yourself, man! President Clinton, Theresa May and the new French President Emmanuel Macron were among the world leaders paying their final respects today to the former German Chancellor Helmut Kohl. Chancellor Kohl, who died last month, presided over the fall of the Berlin Wall and was a driving force behind greater European unity, as our correspondent Mike McCarthy reports. In a ceremony attended by a host of world leaders past and present, Helmut Kohl was honoured as the key architect of modern Europe. Yeah. <laughs> Chancellor Kohl was a giant world figure in more ways than one. Germany's longest serving post-war Chancellor adopted the Euro as an emblem of the European Union. His monumental efforts to unify the continent will be forever symbolised by the fall of the Berlin Wall, bringing East and West Germany together. Ohne Helmut Kohl wäre das Leben von Millionen Menschen Without Helmut Kohl, the lives of millions of people who until 1990 lived behind the wall would have gone totally different. Of course, also mine. Dear Chancellor Helmut Kohl, you had a deciding part in that I stand here. Thank you for the chances that you gave me. Thank you for the chances that you created for many others. Helmut Kohl would no doubt have heartily approved of the reinvigorated Franco-German bond established in recent weeks. But before he died, aged 87, he cautioned against slamming the door on Britain post-Brexit. But for some attending the memorial in Strasbourg, he was remembered as much for his humanity and personality as his politics. I was looking around this crowd today at all of us who used to be in office. All of us who came. Why? Because Helmut Kohl gave us the chance to be involved in something bigger than ourselves bigger than our terms of office, bigger than our fleeting careers, because all of us sooner or later will be in a coffin like that. And the only gift we can leave behind is a better future for our children and the freedom to make their own choices, including their own mistakes. The newly elected French president used the occasion to reaffirm the principles he believed Helmut Kohl represented. Et à ceux qui prétendent aujourd'hui que les institutions et les traités européens to those pretending now that the European institutions and treaties are pointless technocratic constructs, let me say this, in front of Helmut Kohl, it is because you have taken the friendship out of them. It is because you have allowed the flame which gave life to them to die. It is because you have forgotten about the fates upon which they were built. Following the event attended by more than 800 dignitaries, Helmut Kohl's coffin was taken to the German city of Speyer for a requiem mass and military honours. Helmut Kohl's most important legacy will remain his considerable impact on the destiny of modern Europe. Mike McCarthy, Sky News.